there's no fairness when it comes to our people. If you're new here, my name is Tasha Marie TMR. How you doing, baby? All right, y'all. Uh, it's cold. 41 degrees, y'all. They said it's going to... Um, temperatures, temperatures are going to be dropping dramatically today. Later today, I guess. And I'm thinking to myself, oh, Lord. Let's... You know what, y'all? I do not own a coat. Well, I have a coat. But it's like a dress-up coat. So I'm gonna have to, I have a bunch of hoodies. Because last winter it wasn't really, it was cold, but it wasn't that cold where you need, you know, like a whole parka, big old hood. You really didn't need that. But um, <clears throat> yeah, it looked like I'm gonna have to go get me a good winter coat. So I'm gonna have to do that. I'm gonna, I need to go get me a good winter coat. I'm trying to figure out where I should go though. I don't know if I should go to Macy's. You know, Burlington, they sell coats, but they're not called the Coat Factory anymore. Uh, when my kids were little, that's where I went to go get their coats. I would go to, you know, Burlington because they had London Fog. And they still sell coats, but I don't think they sell them like that. I don't know because I ain't, I haven't checked for Burlington in a long time. And then um, JCPenney's was another place I would go to get my children's coat. So, you know what? I might try JCPenney's. I might try Macy's. Try to find me a nice, nice coat. Anyway, y'all, what's going on? Okay, that's a whole lot going on out here in these, in these, in the news, in the streets, whatever, whatever, you know. Um, let's start off by talking about that Ronald Reed case. I wasn't familiar with it. Um, one of my uh, subscribers or viewers um, gave me some insight about it, DM me about it, and um, I did listen to some stories. Um, he's up for, um, he's on death row and he's up for execution, I believe November the 20th. And they're trying to, um, get a stay from the governor. Um, he has a lot of people that's working with him. If y'all are not familiar with that case, um, I believe it happened back in the mid nineties. Yeah, he's accused in the, in, in the mid nineties of some horrific crimes and um it's coming out that he was having an affair with the woman she was getting ready to marry i think like 10 days before this before she passed away she was getting ready to marry a police officer who in turn ended up committing a, another crime and got sentenced to 10 years for it. Y'all, it's a lot going on, but you know, there's a lot of people that's backing this Ronald Reed person up. Um, a lot of celebrities and stuff that's saying he's innocent. There's a lot of people now coming forth with, you know, um, statements trying to defend this man's innocence. And um, y'all, it's, it's just a lot going on with that case. I'm gonna be honest with y'all. I'm gonna I have to do more research on it. But um, you know, he's been he's he's saying he's innocent. He's been saying he's innocent. My personal opinion, based off of I don't know if he had prior criminal history or what his situation was prior to this case, but what I do know is it's just coincidental that a lot of people, like police officers that was associated with that case, lost their lives behind this allegedly behind this case um the 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 fiance is now serving time i believe he's about to get out or he's out, he's already has gotten out um again like i said i got to do a little bit more research i think he has i think he got out in 2018 but you know it's just a lot going on with this case um i'm hoping that whatever they need to do to halt his execution happens because the innocent man does not need to die by any means. 
Um, there's just it's unfortunate that all this stuff is coming out now when it should have came out when the court when the hearing happened years ago. Now everybody trying to come forth when this you know this story has national and international uh, recognition. Yeah, they they talking about this internationally. Like this Ronald Reed case is big, and um, it's just unfortunate how our people. Um, is depicted in the judicial system. Fairness when it comes to our people. Oh, all right, y'all. I had to stop and get me some coffee because your girl, I need an extra cup this morning. I had some before I left the house, but well, earlier this morning. And I was just like, I need a, a little more. I got a doctor's appointment today, and then I need to go visit my mom real quick. Um, so. Have y'all seen, um, it's on Prime Time or Prime, Prime Movies, Amazon Prime Movies. It's a series called American Gangster Trap Queens. Girl, if you have not seen that, you need to go get Amazon Prime. It's an app. You can, it's movies. It's like Netflix and Hulu and all of them. They have a lot of movies on there. And, um... I've been watching this, the American Gangsters, Trap Queens. So basically what they're doing, they're featuring different stories about um, women, mainly black women. Um, I think all of them are black women. One lady was was uh, biracial. But um, of their stories of how they got into, you know, organized crime, um, all kind of stuff, y'all. It is very interesting, very interesting. Um, one of them that they featured, y'all, was this lady named Rashia Wilson. She's um, out of Tampa, Florida, y'all. She is known as, you know, the income tax fraud queen. She managed to defraud the IRS, y'all, out to $21 million in income and fraudulent income taxes. You heard me? $21 million, y'all. I said, well, daggone. No wonder it's so hard for me to get my stuff every year. You got people like her, y'all. She did it. <coughs> and she did it for a couple years. She did it for a little bit. $21 million, y'all. And she ended up getting sentenced to 20. Is it either it was either 20 or 21 years in the federal penitentiary? She sure did. I was like, wow, $21 million. Y'all, she she had a whole business going on. Um, that's when rapid refund was real prevalent. Y'all notice how rapid refund just kind of fizzled on the way? Well, it's for stuff like that. Now, she went big or noticed because it was in the sum of $21 million. Can you just imagine all the other people that's been frauding the IRS? For on a much lower scale but still doing it like at the end of the day honey one like they say one bad apple spoils the whole bunch that's why the irs has been you know really hard on um, getting us our income tax refunds you know a little more rapidly because you got stuff like this y'all it's so easy to that from what they say child no i ain't tried but they say it's, it was easy. They say it was super simple, easy to defraud the government. And I'm thinking to myself, as big a, as as big of an entity as the government is, you was able to let somebody, you know, or somebody or somebody's trip y'all up like that, and was able to extort all that type of money. And then you got little old me trying to get my little income tax refund, and y'all taking me through the blues. <clears throat> Every year they got a new date. They're pushing the date for them to start accepting refunds. They push the date back every year. They push it back even further and further. Child, it's gonna be so, it's gonna be so soon where we ain't getting our income taxes to June. Okay, because every year they got a new story. But it's like for people like her. Y'all need to go watch that. It's about eight episodes of different women. Hers was the most intriguing to me because I was just like, girl, y'all, I would have been too scared. I would I would have, but y'all, she got tripped up for the dumbest reasons. Social media. Uh-huh. 
get you every time. When you get on here and start bragging and showboating, baby, people don't like that. People don't like you bragging. People don't like you showboating. You got folks out here struggling, and you got a whole picture on your Facebook page, and you holding stacks and stacks of cash in both hands. Child, you didn't... Everybody that say your friend is not your friend, okay? Yeah, but Rashia Wilson, honey, she's still sitting in the federal prison doing all that time. Has children and everything. Had to leave her children behind and everything, y'all. Ugh. Y'all need to go get that. Go to Amazon Prime, download the app, get, and y'all watch that. It's several of them on there. All of them are really good, very interesting. Go watch it, okay? <sighs> okay, y'all, I've been thinking about what I'm going to get my husband for Christmas. Um, what I, He's not hard to shop for, y'all. He's very simple. He don't ask for a lot. He don't want a lot, you know. But what I want to get him, since, you know, we moved into the new house, he's, he's the type of person he likes to do a lot of projects around the house and the other day he was doing a project and one of some of his tools are missing and he was like oh my god where's my tools and then he remember he had let his brother use some of his tools and didn't get them back so what i want to do is get him a very nice tool set i want to get him a very nice tool set and i want to buy him a ladder um so I'm going to start checking Amazon and other websites and stuff. Hopefully Black Friday, which I know they will, will have um, some really good, you know, set um, sales on tools and stuff. But that's what I want to get him for Christmas. Because I was sitting there like, what am I going to get this man for Christmas? And then when he said that yesterday about his tools, I was like, bingo, that's what I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you some more tools. And I want to get him a really, really nice set. Like with the tool, because we have like a tool bench in our garage where he can lay all his tools out and sit them up and everything will be organized for him so that's what i really want to do for him so um if y'all see any sales and and, and i y'all email me let me know keep you know be my eyes for me you know because you know i can't be everywhere and see everything so if y'all see something y'all think i it's a good deal y'all email me and let me know okay um girl This coffee's so good. I mix mine with cappuccino. When I go to the gas station, I mix it with cappuccino and coffee. I do a mix, and then I put a little cream in it. Baby, when I tell you that's junk, it's so that going to good. Okay, it's good. Um, okay. Why is this turn signal still on? Um, y'all, what in the world? I Look, I've been seeing on the internet, y'all, YouTube, Lakeside, y'all know Lakeside? She was the one that got into it with Jazzy about the coffee pot situation. Child, they said it cost CPS. Uh, uh, Lakeside did a uh, live, a late night live the other night and said that CPS was called on her. Mm. Say them people went up to her children's school, which that's routine. They're gonna do that, y'all. Understand, I used to be a foster parent. Let me tell you something about CPS and CPS calls. CPS calls, they will they have the most erroneous phone calls. Like they get all type of calls cuz you got to understand a lot of people be vindictive, bitter, whatever, and they will call CPS on you just for sometimes they do it just for GP cuz they feel like they can, right? And I guess she maybe I don't know what she was insinuating. Maybe she felt like somebody that subscribed to her or watches her called CPS. But my only thing is based and I feel like it's true because based off what she said in her live, it did sound like it was believable. But my whole thing is this. Okay, well, why get on YouTube and tell everybody they can call CPS? Like that's nothing to to me personally, I would think that's nothing to be telling anybody. Unless you getting ready to give um a solution behind that like if you got, you know it's a problem and you got a solving solution to put behind that but me personally i wouldn't have got on my platform and told personal business like that because that's personal and you know um that's involving her kids i wouldn't have told that i'm just gonna keep it 100 okay i wouldn't have told that shout out to been between me the cps worker and god okay but i'm thinking Caution, I-465 road construction. I'm sorry, I got a text message. I'm thinking that 
the reason why that probably happened is what you got to understand is we don't know Lakeside personally. We don't know who she know. We don't know if she didn't wrestle somebody's feathers. Y'all, she did say that, um, you know, her, um, her daughter got injured. I think she broke her foot, her leg or something. I don't think that really has anything to do with it because kids break stuff all the time, you know? Um, I don't know the circumstances behind how her daughter got injured. I don't know that. But I do know kids injure themselves all the time. You know, kids come to school all the time with a broke arm, broke leg, especially if they're very active children. So I can't see a teacher or somebody at the school call the CPS in regards to that because that happens. Um, I'm th you know, y'all, she did say that she had trouble with her kid's father. Maybe he called. Maybe somebody in his family called. Y'all, you can't just necessarily say it's a subscriber or a viewer. It could be a subscriber or a viewer, but somebody who knows her. Because they knew, like, where her kids go to school at. Like, how would they know where her kids go to school at? You know what I'm saying? Um, how do you know Lakeside's full name? Unless she told it, I don't know. I don't watch Lakeside like that, like to be getting all that type of personal information. I don't know if she's divulged that information. Yeah, I don't know. At the end of the day, you need to be a little more discreet about the type of information you put out on the internet, you know? And <clears throat> letting people know that CPS called, I probably wouldn't have gave that information out because that that's no validity to your channel. Um, it doesn't really, it matters to you. But the rest of the people you talking to probably don't care. I mean, I don't know. I don't know. I would have just kept it, like I said, between me, God, and CPS. You know, I am i don't know what type of parent she is. I would think she is a good parent. I would hope she is. I don't know that woman, so I can't speak on that. You know, um, I would hope that she wouldn't be the type of parent that, you know, would endanger her children. If she doesn't appear to be. Now, I know a lot of people say she'd be inebriated on live and stuff like that. Again, y'all, that might, it might appear that's what's happening, but that's not necessarily what's happening. I don't know. Um, all I can say is moving forward, if something personal like that happens in your life, keep it personal. The internet does not need to be privileged to your personal information, what goes on in your house. Like the old saying, go child, what goes on in the house stays in the house, okay? Once the internet came, you know, popular, like, baby, that model went straight out the window, okay? Um, okay, so, y'all, really quick, I also want to talk about, get y'all thoughts, what y'all think about this. Proud Mama 12. Y'all, y'all know her. I'm pretty sure y'all do. Well, you know what? The other day she did a video, y'all, that I caught where she was doing her hair. She said she did her first time wearing a wig and she don't really spend money on herself she makes sure her kids is, is straight before she do for herself and i was like oh okay i mean you know what that sounds great that okay but at the end of the day i managed to do for my children and me because at the end of the day i'm the one going to make this money okay i'm not going to deprive myself now granted um if i had to you know choose uh between me and the kids of course my kids come first but I'm not just going to say that I don't spend no money on myself. Because, of course, I spend money on myself. I make the money. The first law of land is self-preservation. Baby, you got to take care of you before you can do anything for anybody else. But if that's her philosophy, that's her philosophy, that's her business, okay? This is talking for me. But what I noticed is when I was watching her video and I looked in her comments, people were wanting to get more information like they wanted to get a P.O. box from her because they would love to send her and the children stuff for Christmas. I thought that was very nice. You know, you, you get people like that that would like to do stuff like that. Um, and then a lot of people were saying, you know, could you do a Q&A? Because we don't know anything about you. They said, we don't even know what your name is. And y'all yeah, got to thinking about that. And I said, you know what? Yeah, what is her name? Child, I thought that was so daggone funny. I was like, you know what? You sure right. Child, you don't know where that woman live at. You don't know, um, uh, hell, heck, you don't even know her kids' names. <clears throat> now, here's the thing. Just because you have a YouTube channel and you have your family on there does not mean that you need to divulge all that information. 
I get that. Again, that's she she let be known what she wants to be known. But you know how it's when I started watching, I don't know when she came to the scene. I think she came on in 2018. I don't know for sure. Let me say that again. I don't know for sure. All I know is I started watching her in 2018. Okay, around this time last year. And when I watched her, she had, you know, I don't even think she was at 10,000 subscribers. Y'all, she's almost at 25,000 subscribers. Like, she is growing rapidly, okay? And people seem to really like her. But my point of saying this is, do you see how she's managed to grow her channel? Y'all, she don't. She doesn't upload a lot. She might upload once a week, okay? When she does come on, she keeps it very about her and the kids. She doesn't give detail about her life. Now, I don't know what she did then, but now she doesn't. I think ever since she that interview with Tommy Sotomayor, she kind of, you know, laid low with giving out so much information. But do you notice that she's able to grow her channel without giving all her personal information and really letting people in her life like that? And people are still intrigued and still subscribe and watch? Y'all notice that? At the end of the day, baby, you ain't got to put all your business out there in order to grow your channel. That's all I'm saying. This woman, is, to me, from the people I've watched here recently, she's a prime example of that. You know, people are steady subscribing to her channel daily and don't even know her first name. Okay? Y'all think about that. Because that's like that. I was like, wow. Yeah, you don't know what her name is. Like, when I refer to her, I refer to her as Proud Mama 12. I mean, to be quite honest with you, I don't need to know her name. I mean, I never thought about it. I never, but I guess there's some people who really get into their, you know, they get into their channels. They become very um, diehard supporters. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's nothing wrong with subbing what you love, okay? It's nothing wrong with that. But... Um, it just shows you like she doesn't put she doesn't have a P.O. box. She I don't think she has a cash app in her description, like nothing. And the person the person in the comment was like, you know, you don't ask for anything. And we would just love to send just out the kindness of their heart. And you know what? I felt that woman, whoever or man, whoever this person was, I felt them on that. At the end of the day, everybody loved the kids, okay? And if they can't do nothing, they'll do for the children, you know. So, I don't know if that woman will ever open up more about her life. I can see her not because of her situation and not really wanting to expose her family like that. Because at the end of the day, being on the internet can, can, can be potentially dangerous. And you do want to protect your family as much as you can. Um, I don't think a lot of people set out to get on the internet to cause havoc and cause trouble. Most people who start their YouTube channel is simply because they want to enter, you know, they want to be entertained. They want to entertain. They want the subscribers based off the talents or the content or the niche that they have to offer. And I, I totally understand that. But y'all, I really thought about that when I read that comment. I was like, you know what? Hell, I don't, yeah, I don't know that woman's name. And she's managed to grow this channel without telling you how many baby daddies she has. Now, I guess somebody told me, one of my subscribers did say she has revealed that information. I guess when that interview with Tommy Sotomayor, yeah, I don't, I didn't catch that interview, so I don't know. Uh, I know since I've been watching her, she hasn't discussed that information. She basically has just said how many children she has, and that's it. Like, you don't know their ages, really. You don't know their names. You barely even see them. She did do a video the other day where she did a sour challenge with the kids. I didn't watch that yet. Um, yeah. It just goes to show you, y'all, there's an audience for everything. You can, you know, you can vlog your life without putting all your business out there. Okay? It, you can do it. And you can get just as many subscribers because people are going to subscribe to what they want to subscribe to. Some people like that train wreck stuff. And some people just want to watch content, clean content. They just want to, or some people just want, some people want to hear the tea. Some people want to hear the gossip. Some people just want to hear, some people just like, I mean, when I, when I was at my job, y'all, I, I used to love just putting my earphones in my ear and just listen to people to talk. 
and I would, you know, I, I like to listen to a lot of podcasts. You know, I, I do. I just like listening to people talk. I like to hear people's opinions and thoughts on things. So, all right, y'all, let me get on off of here. I'll probably come back a little later on. Like I said, I want to get a little more information about that Ronald Reed situation because it, it his story is very interesting. And I want to read up on more of it. I just haven't had a chance, y'all. I started my classes um, yesterday. I started my classes. So, um... I've been busy with that. So I'm going to try to upload as much as possible, y'all. But my school takes precedence. And then, of course, you know, I got my family that I have to, you know, see after, you know. So I'm, I'm, I'm going to try to give y'all a video a day. If not a day, it, it definitely will be every other day, okay? Until the next time, y'all. See y'all in the next video. Remember, y'all, sub what you love. Bye-bye.